Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. But it's over now. I take a bow. All right, y'all. Y'all just heard me play that song, okay? So who's that song dedicated to you guys? Who do you guys think? That is my song to Tati, Tati Westbrook. She dropped a new video yesterday. If you guys do not know, I did my live stream, basically breaking down the whole Tati Westbrook and James uh, Charles situation. And so um, yesterday, Tati decided to drop another video. And the video is titled, Why I Did It. And so in this video, it's not as long as the first one. That was 43 minutes. This one was 18 minutes long. And she's basically stating that, you know, she's very upset. And she's doing another emotional plea, honey. Tears are coming down her eyes. She got the, you know, the tissue and everything else. And she's telling people that she wants the hate to stop. She says, I want the picking of the sides, the abusive memes and, and abusive language. I want all of that to stop. That's not why I made the video. Then she goes on to say that she also wants to reach out to James Charles and talk to him, but he hasn't really been responding, I'm assuming. Um, so this entire situation is just a trip, honey. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I do really want the hate to stop. I want the picking sides and the abusive memes and the language and all of that. I really hope on both sides it can stop. That's not why I made the video. Tati Westbrook addressing the aftermath of her James Charles feud in another video. Never in a million years would I think that this situation would reach what it did. And I've just been at home reflecting on all of this and Really, when I made that video, I I thought that I would be the one that would take the hit. You know, I thought I was going against, you know, millions and millions of subscribers. She also further explains why she put James on blast in the first place. It's about someone who reaches across all platforms 30 million people that are children, dominantly children, and who is losing the ability to get honest more and more each day. The last straw for me was the way I was treated and our relationship was treated um, with just zero respect. This was just a last ditch effort for me to be really loud and vocal and to wake up someone that I really love and still do before they go and make some really serious mistakes. Tati says she doesn't hate James though and doesn't want other people hating on him either. It's painful to watch someone that you have cared about be dragged and to know that this all started because of me. And I don't think anyone deserves that. I just want you guys to know that there is no celebration in what's happening. I'm just hoping that we can leave it at that and close this up and that people can drop this and move forward and let some actual healing happen. The James Tati feud came to a head days ago, seemingly over supplements. Jean All right, you guys just saw that. And then I also love how she claims that, you know, she made this video to reach somebody that was completely unreachable. But it's funny, before all this drama, you had his number. You know, you guys were best friends. So I don't understand how he's all of a sudden now unreachable. Now I can get him not wanting to talk to you and saying, get the fuck from in front of my house. You know what I'm saying? After all you put me through. But again, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I see in this. Now I'm going to say... I don't feel like her entire video was insincere. I feel like, you know, she is sincerely, you know, shocked by what happened. You know, it's one thing to rant and rave and it goes viral on YouTube and, you know, we see YouTubers getting into it all the time. But I know for a fact that she had no idea it would go globally. You know, this would become an international story or that James Charles would lose millions and millions of subscribers. I don't think she really thought that all the way through when this happened. So I will give her that, you know, but I just still have to call out the BS. And one thing I have to say is, Tati, you're 37 years old, meaning you're a grown ass woman. And you've been in this game long enough to know that when anything is said by people on YouTube who have millions of followers, 
there's going to be an uproar, okay? I don't care if it was a whole situation a few years back with Keemstar and Leafy is here. Why am I still getting hate? 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 You know when you put certain things out there, it's going to spread. Maybe not as big as it did with this situation, but she had to have known that people were going to pick sides, that it was going to be, uh, you know, Tati Westbrook fans versus James. And I, I really feel like this. I think that she made this video truly because she noticed that the ties were turning. A lot of people who are not brain dead, who can see through a lot of bullshit, who have discernment, were started to call her out. People like myself, I believe PewDiePie also had the same, you know, opinion, giving her the side eye. And a lot of folks were like, you know, this doesn't make any sense. Like I said in my live stream, her original 43 minute video, I agreed with most of the beginning of it when she was keeping about the vitamins, how he wasn't a real friend because he was supporting a competitor and how he basically lied and said, you know, oh, he only did it for security, even though he has more than enough money to hire his own security team. Um, I feel like she knew that the tides were turning. People were starting to question her motives. And so now she's speaking up and making another video. So again, Tati, congrats. Take a bow, ma'am. You're playing your hand very, very well. You know, what Tati needs to realize is that people are not yo-yos. You can't, you know, throw a yo-yo out there and then bring them back emotionally when you feel like it. Because regardless if you tell people right now to stop harassing James and, you know, stop saying to unsubscribe, the damage is done, sis, okay? He's lost a lot of subscribers. People have been harassing him and other people. I've seen some of the most vile comments coming from Tati Westbrook fans. You got them saying a lot of homophobic stuff, you know, saying just a lot of bullshit because they're trying to defend her. And because she's so conscious of her brand and she wants to keep this sweet girl persona, she's trying to nip that in the bud. Because now it looks like Tati Westbrook's fans are just, you know, horrible people. They're homophobic. They're, you know, they're creating all these memes on behalf of their favorite YouTuber. So what's happening now is that that's coming back on Tati because these are her fans who are behaving in this manner. So now she wants to kind of distance herself. You know, regardless if you're telling people not to do things, not to unsubscribe, not to troll him, at the end of the day, the outrage is real. It's going to be very hard to qualm it, you know what I'm saying, for as long as it's been going on. You know, and then she goes on to say that she didn't realize James would be taking a hit from all of this. And it's like, dude, are you serious? You're 37 years old. You've been on YouTube for years, so you know how the game works. You know what I'm saying? You posted a 43-minute video basically exposing all of his wrongdoings, and especially the whole predatory thing, and you didn't think people would look at that and say, oh, hell no, I can't support a predator. And people were saying, oh, well, she didn't really mean it like that. Well, she clearly did because she also wrote this on Instagram about his predatory behavior. And like I said, I'm all here for calling out people on their bullshit. But don't wait until it's affecting you. Don't wait until you're the one being affected by that person. You know, she should have been addressing this publicly before the same way she felt it was okay to address this publicly now. Why not address it publicly and say, you know, let's start with the whole chasing of straight men and everything else. So... Like I said, I just feel like, you know, she's on one right now. And the fact that her fans are making her look bad and making her brand look bad, she's trying to do damage control, okay? Trying to ruin somebody's career over a few missteps or even character flaws is serious business. And like I told y'all, I hate this whole cancel culture. And I hate the fact that people cannot just be neutral and really come to their own conclusion. That somebody can just put any lie out there, just throw anything out there because they're in their fucking feelings, because they're supposedly hurt, that does not make it okay. You being hurt does not make it okay for you to just, you know, say anything and, and, you know, plant seeds of dissension in people's heads and try to manipulate people to see things your way because you're in your feelings. I'll never stand by that. I would never agree with something like that. You know, I just think that at this point in time, Tati needs to learn from her mistakes and so does James Charles. Like I said, everybody on this platform is human. And I think that's the one thing that they can do is learn from this opportunity and use it to grow and change for the better. But all this now trying to act, you know, docile and say you didn't know and, you know, it's gone too far and you guys need to stop. To me, what I saw was somebody who was trying to save their brand. To me, this, it wasn't necessarily an apology. She wasn't apologizing to him because she does believe the whole predatory stance and, you know, what he did. She's just apologizing for the backlash and, and people unsubscribing to him and trying to reiterate that she's not trying to ruin him because if she wanted to, she could have did interviews and, and everything else. The media's been contacting her family. So I feel like that's why she's doing this. It's basically self-preservation and trying to save her channel.
channel. You know, do I think this just makes her a horribly, you know, bad person and people need to unsubscribe to her and never fool with her? No. I think that she's somebody who went off of emotions, you know what I'm saying? But she also had a vested interest in James, hence why she kept shouting him out and kept trying to, you know, rub shoulders with this, you know, 18-year-old kid at the time when she met him. He's 19 now. You know, so I think there was a lot of blame to go around, like I stated in my live stream. But this update, this whole, you know, her apologizing and trying to take things back, to me, it, I'm not really buying it, okay? To me, why I feel like she is sincere in certain parts and that she really did care about James Charles, I also feel like I said she's trying to protect her brand and her image as well because now she's looking like the old mean girl, you know, who's picking on this teenage boy and, you know, she's she's harassing him and sending her big bad fans after him and things like that. And she doesn't want that connotation attached to her brand, attached to her hair vitamin company and everything else. So this entire situation is just insane. You know, like I said, at the end of the day, I hope that people just learn from this and learn from their mistakes and learn from what Tati and James both, you know, went through, what they did and what moves to make and not make. But again, I also want to reiterate, just because you're mad in a particular situation or upset, when you call somebody a friend, then you need to behave that way and reach out to said friend, you know what I'm saying? And really talk to them as opposed to running to make it a whole public spectacle because now it's all coming back on her and she's feeling hella guilty, hella bad because she didn't expect for it to go so far and be as ugly as it got. But like I said, initially, people are not yo-yo, so you can't just tell them that we're gonna be on this whole by sister shit, you know what I mean? And then six days later, come out and say, no, you guys, no, l you know, let's stop, it's just too much. You know, you literally have kids right now in junior high going back and forth, arguing. It's been a lot of drama in these schools behind this whole Tati Westbrook, um, James Charles situation because I have a kid in junior high and that's like, and that's what all these kids are talking about. So for these kids who are emotionally invested in this story, it's going to be very hard to just get them to just drop it cold turkey just because you can walk away and, you know, you're trying to potentially reach out to James Charles and, you know, speak on it. That's fine, but you still have a bunch of fans who follow you who supported you and who went hard for you based off of your original video so this whole situation like i said it's insane it's crazy but you know what i'm here for it bitch so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this updated information on tati westbrook basically breaking down and crying once again okay take a bow sis take a bow and, you know, telling the world to, you know, leave James Charles alone. I'm begging you guys, please stop harassing him. Please stop doing this. Because, again, sis, you could have really made this video within 24 to 48 hours, honey. It shouldn't have taken you six days to finally decide to put an end to the bullshit. Anyways, y'all, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Tati Westbrook basically trying to quell the internet and get them to stop harassing James Charles. Are you guys believing this updated video? She's gotten already 11 million views. She has over a million likes on it, so a lot of people are liking and agreeing with the video. Other people, not so much. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. <laughs>